Hi there, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for this month, I'm actually using a new deck, which is called the Tarot of Sexual Magic Medlora Twin. And this is actually one of the decks that I've been eyeing on for quite some time now because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. And it's a deck of very much of the graphic side, a lot of sensual and erotic sexual scenes going on, but it's ideally made uh, a deck made for love and relationship focus. So each and every deck has its own message um, all about love and relationships. And you know, Laura Twan really did a good good work and you know describing each scenes as if there are um, some form of story into them so you would see that the decks that I ha the deck this deck that I have over here you know uh, the card can actually mean a little bit differently from the usual Rider Wraith which I usually use on my monthly readings which I, ha which I have over here so um but it still has a similarity it's just that it's going to be love focus oriented so i'm still going to be using my own intuition as we go along but i'll also tell you how the cards is depicted based on lore twan so um yeah and that would be interesting in its own way um so anyway without any further ado let's just go in into the reading and before anything else, I just want to give you guys a reminder that this is still a general reading. So please do know that it may or may not necessarily tune in for the rest and each and every Virgos out there. Just keep that in mind as we go along. So um, yeah, uh, the first card for you guys is you do have the Two of Pentacles, which is what we have over here. Like you can see the man giving a woman a surprise and the woman has no idea that this guy is even there so and with Laura Twan this is actually a card of surprise and uneasiness there are doubts going going on so there are doubts that you might be having right now because you know um, there is a surprise right there there is something that you don't know basically and what we have over here crossing over you is the knight of swords yeah and with the knight of swords it's going this is actually very interesting as you guys can notice that the woman is actually turned has its face turned away from the guy you know that kind of energy so and this is the the card of the prey and the hunter and taming something so I would say that you could be in a situation right now where in you are wanting for some action. Maybe you feel that some action is happening or you're just feeling some form of uneasiness inside of you as if something is going to happen or you're wanting for something to happen. It's you who want some form of action. You know, there there is a form of urge happening inside of you which you may not be able to explain very well. And with the foundation card of the five of wands and this is go we we can actually visualize, you know, we do have a wands energy and the knight of swords right there. There is like strong energy happening inside of you and this is happening in your foundation card. So the energy of wanting to really bond with someone is really becoming very strong and this is actually the card of sharing and really engaging with someone you can see the man and the woman is actually having some form of intercourse right there though we do have this guy over here taking a look at them that's why with Laura Twan this is a card of watching you know you're finding out something and uh, uh, this is separate from what I'm, what I feel. Okay, uh, in Laura Twan, this is actually you know can be a trigger point of of conflicts. You know, it, 
it could be that this guy is actually the lover of the woman and they are having some form of intercourse and this guy finds it out especially that you can see that the guy is actually hold has a sword right there so he might suddenly you know attack that that kind of thing so with this in place in this virgo reading i would say that this could be a situation wherein you you know you are wanting for something it could be that you're thinking of wanting to have some form of bonding with someone you know you want you're wanting to to have a desire for love you know you're wanting to feel love and to love you are desiring for some form of pleasure in your life at this time is what i feel here and it could also be that you know the fire of wands is easily depicted as a card of action so action and sexual action can be put into one all at the same time and interestingly enough in the future position we do have the world card and the world card is always about a, a very positive situation wherein it's all about continuation of harmony you're wanting you're you're wanting for a situation to really blossom into its most positive state that kind of energy we also have here the ten of pentacles yes this is a ten of pentacles so there's something that you really really want to occur and you wanting you're wanting the guy or the other person to to love you to give you more passion to give you more attention and all those kinds of things and you know that is you know the energy of really wanting attention really wanting love is being you know shown in this reading in the recent past you do have here the lover's card which is all about seduction and and choices i would say that this could be a situation wherein maybe you are um wanting some form of deeper love because maybe someone is not paying enough attention to you maybe your partner is busy with some something else it could be work it doesn't have to be you know something illicit or anything like that it could be that you know there is just a lack of something because we can see here that you know if we take a look on this in a very um a subtle way we can see that the only intercourse that we have over here is this guy is this is this one but you know uh with a with this with these cards it's always about you know being sneaking and taking a look on the woman so there could be you know not enough not enough i just keep picking up this energy of not enough what maybe what they're giving you is not enough for you and you are just at the point of wanting more into that and we do have the three of wands as the card that representing you right now and this is the card of nostalgia with lord one it is about kissing you know the feeling of remembering your first kiss all those kinds of things you could be in a situation wherein you are really really wanting like i said there is something that you want and you are wanting it very passionately especially we do have a lot of fire cards over here and with this moon card as the the card that represents the other person they're the it's all about a very fancy kind of thing very emotional intuitive it's like they are they are expressing their own love to you maybe but they are expressing it but you're not feeling it so there could be a situation like that happening into your love lives so you could be in a situation wherein you might find yourself that you need to do everything by yourself especially we do have the queen of swords as, a, as the overall reading overall um, outcome of the reading which is all about masturbation and you know masturbation is all about pleasing your own self and loving yourself because maybe you're not able to 
to have your pleasure with another person or maybe there are other issues right there but um, in Lord's one it is actually the card of um, exploration and solitude we you were in you need to do things for yourself and by yourself because you know maybe you're not able to have the pleasure with someone right now so there is an energy here wherein maybe the other person is not being not able to give you what you want so they're not able to fulfill and give you the, the satisfaction that you need at this time especially wherein you know this is the hopes and dreams card and that all can also represent some form of fear one way or another so this is all the the king of swords am i correct yeah it's a king of swords and this is the card of fundling and someone that gives off a lot of power so it could be the situation wherein someone is being stubborn maybe you are thinking that they are engaging with someone else even though they are they maybe are not you know especially we have here the woman card peeking in with this guy with the king even though the king is just holding on with the hand of the woman you know they're not exactly doing anything and that is actually could be the problem you know you could be in a relationship wherein you are wanting for some action maybe some sexual um happening sexy time and uh, and all those kinds of things it's just that the other person is not giving you enough and that might be a problem in its own way i would say that there is a problem uh, there is a situation here wherein there could be some form of misunderstandings or you could be in a situation wherein you are going to resolve any misunderstandings that are happening in the relationship because there could be things that you don't know and it is probably the time for the other person to speak up and tell you what this is all about what is really happening so there could be a situation like that this can also be a situation wherein there could be important conversations that will be happening uh, for you for the month of august and there could be second chances and opportunities for things to get better remember this is still the masturbation card so i, I would say that overall it gives a form of relief one way or another it could be a situation as well I and mean, just giving you guys you know um situational things which this reading can actually occur so um just keep in mind that i'm changing things up based on um how this can manifest overall another way that this can occur as well is that you know maybe you know from that disappointment and dissatisfaction you come into terms of you know just being single again this is still the queen of swords so the queen of swords gets a say at the end of the day so there could be a situation wherein you might be in a relationship but you feel single and you end up deciding to just go separate ways that is also a possibility but i feel that that might not exactly be the case it could be a situation wherein you just need to accept the situation as it is and you know accept that maybe they have their own issues accept that they have their own responsibilities and it doesn't mean that they don't love you because we still do have the world card here which is all about you know harmony continuity and all of that so there is still you know a connection between you and your partner it's just that maybe they're not being able to give you the satisfaction that maybe you are seeking at this time but it doesn't mean that they don't you know it doesn't mean that they're it does not mean that they are cheating it doesn't mean that they they that you are not important or anything like that it's just that they have their own thing going on and you might feel that things are against you when it comes to love and relationship but it isn't so you might be you might be you know having some form of internal struggle when it comes to your relationships at this time 
You do have here Mercury in the sign of Pisces in the second house. And remember, Mercury and Pisces don't go well together. Um, the miscommunications can definitely occur with that. And when the, with the second house, second house is all about our body, our possessions, the things that we value, all of those kinds of things. So there could be miscommunications right there, or maybe there are already miscommunications that are happening in the relationship and you know there could just be small aggravations that are adding up which will be needing to be resorted one way or another you will resort this um, there is a situation here wherein you need to resolve problems if there is any if there are things that you don't know, then this could be the time wherein you will definitely find out answers to ease up your maybe insecurities or maybe just so you can have some form of clarity in the relationship. Because I feel that right now, your other person, the other person is going to be open all at the same time. They're not closed off. So if you ask, they will answer and it doesn't mean that you know what they answer is something that will please you so you will just have to understand things in your own way when it comes to that but um yeah um it's not exactly a very happy reading or anything like that so i do hope that you will take this with a grain of salt and you know see this more of an advice i would say advice and insight that you know try to just be more understanding in the relationship right now because just because they're not able to fulfill all of your needs means that you're not the most important because i feel that you are still the most important thing for them it's just that they're not able to express it Again, this can also be a situation wherein you you need to decide whether you, you stay with this person to understand them and all of that or to go in separate ways. We still have the Queen of Swords as the ending card of the reading. So regardless of what happens, all of the, the decision that occurs in the relationship will be up to you and it will be all in your hands. Fair go. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that you, you find this insightful and let me know how it goes for you guys. I shall see you guys again next one.